so hi uh, this is mahesh working as a senior software engineer uh, on java and android related technologies so today uh, in this session i'll explain you so what is the definition of android so you know, my my friends and my colleagues are ask a question android is a operating system or android is a programming language okay so in this session i will give a clarity on android what exactly android what android consists and everything okay so the definition of android is android is a mobile platform android is a mobile platform so it consists of operating system middleware and key applications so this is the definition of android android is a mobile platform which consists of operating system middleware and some key applications so i'll justify this definition with the help of architecture i'll uh, i will i will justify this definition with the help of architecture okay so if we take any electronic device let us take pc or any electronic device okay which consists of two things the two things are one is a software component and the hardware component so the software component so directly interact in with the hardware component so there is a middle layer between the software component and the hardware component so that middle layer is nothing but operating system okay so what is the abstraction between the software component and the hardware component is the operating system so operating system is the abstraction between the software component and the hardware component so if you take android mobile is also one of the electronic device so which contains two things the software component and the hardware component the abstraction between the software component and the hardware component is nothing but operating system so here what is the operating system in android devices the operating system in android devices is the linux kernel so what is the operating system in android devices linux kernel so why you need to use operating system what are the responsibilities of operating system let us take you are using a windows operating system or linux operating system lot of operating systems are there so what is the what are the main functionalities of operating system okay the first one is the main responsibility of operating system is memory management what is the main responsibility memory management so it will manage the memory so when you create a file it is going to allocate some space in the hard disk so it is going to manage the memory if you remove a file it is going to remove the space from the uh, hard disk it is going to manage the memory the main responsibility and the first responsibility of operating system is memory management and the next responsibility is resource management what is the next one resource management so resource management means at a time you can perform multiple operations in case of windows operating system you can type a text document you can browse the internet you can play an audio file at a time you can perform multiple operations so operating system is going to allocate resources to the each process okay the first next responsibility is what resource management and next it will manage the driver drivers the next responsibility is driver management for example if you take pc if you connect any a uh, pen drive or any uh, drive you no need to install any separate software for that one every operating system is having built in drivers so it will manage the driver management memory management power management and the next one is the next responsibility of operating system is power management so it will manage the power so these are the responsibilities of operating system memory management next resource management power management and driver management these are the responsibilities of operating system so here in android platform so what is the operating system linux kernel is the operating system and next i'll explain you why i'm drawing all these things okay at end and the first component is the android applications the first component is what android applications or we call this one is the software component so by using generally people uh, is having a lot of doubts by using which programming language we can develop android applications you can develop android applications by using three languages the first one is by using java programming language you can develop applications 
by using C or C++, you can develop applications. By using .NET also, you can develop Android applications. By using Java, by using C or C++, by using .NET, you can develop Android applications. But initial versions of Android will support for developing C, C++ and .NET. Now the latest versions of Android will support only for Java. Okay, so if you are, if you are writing the code using Java, so you need to take a support of SDK. If you are writing the code using C or C++, we need to take a support of NDK. And in case of .NET, there is a framework called Mono Android. What is the framework name? Mono Android is a framework. By using Mono Android framework, we can develop Android applications by using .NET technology. And remember, initial versions of Android will support for developing C, C++, Java and .NET. Now the latest versions of Android will support only for developing Java programming language. So here, for developing Android applications, what is the programming language? Java is a programming language. And next, if you are writing the code using Java programming language, we need to import some Java libraries. For example, if you are writing any file reading and file writing operations in Java, there is a package called java.io.star. If you are performing any network operations like uh, sending the data to server, receiving the data from server, okay, if you are performing any network operations, so there is a package called java.net.star like this. So if you are performing any, if you are writing the code using Java programming language, we need to import some Java libraries. Let us take java.io.star, java.net.star, like these different packages are there. If you are writing the code using Java programming language, we need to import some Java libraries. And next, by using Java programming language, we cannot interact with some low-level media components. Let us take a best example, displaying graphics. So displaying graphics is not possible with Java. Even though if you write the code using Java programming language, so Java programming language is having some native methods. With the help of native methods, the Java code is going to interact with some other programming languages. That some other programming languages we called as native libraries. That some other programming language we called as what? Native libraries. Maybe it's non-Java libraries. Let us take a best example in Android. If you want to display graphics, there is a graphic library called OpenGLES. What is the library name? Open. OpenGLES is one of the graphic library. So it is a native library. Your Java code is going to interact with the OpenGLES code to display graphics. The OpenGLES is nothing but it's a native library. So if you are writing the code using Java programming language, we need to import some Java libraries. So the, by using Java, we cannot interact with some low-level media components. The Java code is going to take support of some other programming languages that some other programming language we call as native libraries. Okay. And the next important component in the Android architecture is application framework. So the next important component is what? Application application framework so what is the responsibility of application framework generally in the market the people says developing android applications are easier than uh, compared to java or .NET. how it is easier let us take just to print a hello world message you need to write a thousand lines of code generally no one will prefer to learn android correct or not yes obviously it's right so just to print a hello world statement you need to write a thousand lines of code and no one will prefer to learn android so how android application development is easier so why the people are calling develop, uh, why the people are saying how uh, android application development is easier because android application development is easy with the help of application framework everything is ready made libraries for example if you want to work with wi-fi application framework is providing an a class called Wi-Fi manager. If you want to work with Wi-Fi, you don't need to write the huge amount of code. Your application framework is providing one class called Wi-Fi manager. If you want to get the list of Wi-Fi networks, there is a method called Wi-Fi manager dot get configured networks. You'll get the you'll get the total number of Wi-Fi connected devices by using this Wi-Fi manager. If you want to get your current position, so by using GPS, you can get your current position. So if you want to get your current position, you need to write some code to interact with GPS. GPS is going to interact with satellite. You need to write some huge amount of code. But by using application framework, you no need to take care of that one. 
okay application framework provides on class called location manager by using this location manager just hardly call a method get position it will return the position okay if you want to work with bluetooth bluetooth manager if you want to work with sensor sensor manager everything is ready made libraries who provide this ready made libraries application framework application framework provides infrastructures for the application development everything is ready made libraries you no need to write a huge amount of code to get the wifi components or to get the bluetooth components to get the your position you no need to write a huge amount of code everything is a ready made libraries hardly need to call methods to get the to work with that component okay so application framework provides infrastructures for the application development and next important component is dalvik virtual machine so hope you know the term about jvm so jvm is termed as java virtual machine which is used to execute your java byte code so here in android we are writing the code using java if you are writing the code using java jdk is going to compile your java code and it is going to produce a file called dot class file so this one we call as java byte code in android dvm takes a java byte code as input and it is going to produce a lightweight format called dot dx why you need to convert why why it converts from java byte code to dot dx why not java byte code because java byte code is suitable for heavy weight applications like pcs but here in case of mobiles we don't have that much power capacity we don't have that much memory capacity we don't have that much ram capacity so we need a lightweight format than the java byte code so that's why dvm takes a java byte code as input it follows some compression techniques it reduces the redundant information in the classes and it is going to produce a single file called dot dx imagine in your in your application there are thousand classes are there all the thousand classes are going to be converted into a single file with extension dot dex dex is termed as dalvik executable code so we'll discuss uh, about dvm uh, in the next sessions uh, in depth about dvm okay so here this is the architecture of android this is the architecture of android recall the definition of android what is android android is a android is a mobile platform which consists of operating system middleware and key applications and it is a mobile platform which consists of operating system middleware and key applications so here what is the operating system in android linux kernel is the operating system the application framework and libraries part are called as middleware and these are the key applications so from the architecture we define the definition it is a mobile platform and remember one thing it's not an operating system it's not a it's not a programming language and it is a mobile platform which consists of operating system middleware and key applications this is the definition and architecture of android okay from the architecture we define the definition okay it's not a it's not a programming language it's not an operating system remember this point okay so this is about android so in the next session i'll we'll discuss about so why why you need to select android what are the advantages of android there are a lot of other mobile platforms are there like ios symbian blackberry so what are the advantages in android we'll discuss in the next session